<clears throat> uh, I am Vitaly Chernenko, physician and virologist. I live in Novosibirsk in Russia. I will record this journal to document the events in New York City after what they call the dollar fool outbreak. I am fortunate to be in New York now as I am to speak at Sinai Hospital Medical Conference. I hope to be of some use in this crisis. I have, how does one say it, mixed feelings. One does not wish others to suffer, but for virologists it is also excellent opportunity to learn. The first does not cancel out the second. Oh, I should add, English is not my best language, but <laughs> more people speak it here than Russian, so I will use it. My talk at the conference has been postponed, as is the conference itself. This is not a surprise. The Russian consulate has called me in. I am to stay here in the consulate building until the crisis has passed. It's very comfortable. More comfortable than my hotel, in fact, but... Here one feels a little bit like a prisoner. Am I not more useful to help with the study of green poison? Uh, this is what they are calling the virus. If I can work with others? It, it feels like the bad old days. At least I still have my phone and internet. <laughs> I will try to stay up on how things develop. Perhaps I can be of help from here.
we need to do is assess our resources and define our mission statement. The statement is clear. We must retake control. And with the resources we have left, it's also clear we can't afford any half measures. Every soldier counts. Every soldier is a critical resource. There are no reinforcements being deployed. There is no air support. We work slow and steady. We secure the city sector by sector, and then we hold them for dear life. I need you all to be on your feet, ready to make some quick decisions. It's better to shoot someone innocent than to let someone guilty get away. And it's better to shoot first than to risk being shot, even if you're not 100% sure. That's how we will win this war. That's how we will save this city. Collateral damage is to be expected. Let him go. He didn't do anything to you. That's right. He didn't. But I sure as hell do something to him. This is about taking the Rikers out at the knees. There's no one who can replace Lorraine Barrett. She's the one who organized the escape to Manhattan. They're holding three of my people there. If you can get them out before blowing the lid off, I'd be grateful. All right. Get them out first, but don't get the air permission. We're going in on your heels. The jailbreak ends here.
Incoming hostiles detected. Warning. Additional hostiles in band. Get a little game of pin the axe on the pig. How about 10 points if you get him in the arm? <laughs> Nothing to be afraid. Eye for the hands! What Whoever do you say? 20 the for the head? The table, 30? Lit. So this uh, is a real good Depends on how deep it goes in. <laughs> it's very simple. Just a little friendly oh, copy. Please. I've got a family. You each got you a shot there. You think I didn't have a family? You think I was born in Rikers? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm not doing it. Screw this. How long could people yet survive? Josh, we don't have a choice. Besides, you know as good as you do is better than me. That's all you gotta understand. God damn it. What the hell is that? Is that Drake? Oh, yes. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> Forgot to mention that part. Now come on, boys. Find the next shot. Let's go.